This video will walk you through the installation of the Zadig driver which is needed to connect the Lynx unit via the USB cable and the MPC tool. After you've downloaded the MPC zip file from the ACSS technical publications page, uh, we recommend that you put that into a folder on your desktop specifically for this version of the MPC 3.0. In order to unzip this file, you are going to be required to have WinZip 22 or later version on your laptop computer. Otherwise, you will not be able to unzip this. After you've downloaded the WinZip 22 driver, you're going to click on the zip file on the screen. And then it's going to ask you where would you like to save these files. Save them to the file you created. Unzip them in the MPC 3.02 folder on your desktop. After you do that, you're going to have two files that are going to appear. One of them is going to be the L3 logo application, which is the MPC tool. The other one is going to be the Zadig 2.1.2 driver application. It is recommended that you use a PC which has Windows 7, 8, or 10 on it, as these perform the best with regards to the MPC tool and the Zadig driver. Once you have the unzipped files, you can double click on the Zadig 2.1.2 exe file and the application will open. You will get a pop-up window that is going to ask you if you want to allow this window to make changes to your PC. This is a verified publisher at KO Consulting and so you're going to select yes for this. Once the Zadig window opens, if you go up to Options at the top of the menu and you select List All Devices, then you will go down to the pull-down menu and select the NGT9000. Once you select the NGT9000, it will ask you to either install driver or reinstall driver, depending upon whether or not the Zadig driver has been installed on your PC before. After you hit that button, you will get a progress window pop-up showing the installation of the driver itself. Once the installation is complete, a window will pop up that says the driver was installed successfully. Click on the close button and then you can click on the X in the upper right to close out the Zadig utility. Your installation has been complete. After you've successfully installed the Zadig driver utility, now it's time to enable the MPC tool to talk to the NGT9000 via the USB connection. Please make sure you have the power applied to the NGT9000 and you have the USB connected to, the, to your laptop as well as to the front of the NGT9000. Once you open the MPC tool, the first thing we want to do is go over to the help menu on the far right and a window is going to pop up and what we want to do there is you want to verify the version of the MPC tool that you're installing just to make sure it is the correct one. After you've done that, go to the MPC menu and click on connect. Then you will click on in the pull down NGT9000 and then click on the USB. Once you do that, a progress window will pop up as it's trying to connect via the USB. Once the connection has been established, the left panel will change from gray to tan and the message connected with a green indicator will show up on the lower left. If it is not connected, a red indicator will be shown, which means you may have an issue with the USB connection. Unplug the USB cord from the front of the NGT9000 and plug it back in. If you get a response timeout for write request message in the lower left status bar, then that means the unit is not responding to requests. So cycle power to the unit. When the unit is in maintenance mode, the ADSB out fail lamp is on if one is installed. Now it's time to restart the unit in maintenance mode. From the MPC menu, the very top so 
select service, and then go down and select restart unit. Then select maintenance no Wi-Fi. Click the restart unit button on the lower left. A window will now come up confirming the restart into maintenance mode using no Wi-Fi. Select yes. A second window will pop up stating restart request succeeded. Please reconnect. Click OK. If you choose to select maintenance with, with Wi-Fi, then you're going to follow the same steps we went through up above. Except you will select maintenance with Wi-Fi. Next, we need to enable the MPC tool to talk to the NGT9000 via the Wi-Fi connection which we have just established. You will go to connect in the top menu of the MPC tool and then you will go to NGT9000 then you will go to Wi-Fi select restart into maintenance mode. A dialog box will then appear asking to restart into maintenance Wi-Fi requested select the OK button after this you will be able to configure the NGT9000 unit.